All week long, students across the nation have been celebrating National Red Ribbon Week. So as for Priscilla Estrada is at our Farm McCallum newsroom and Priscilla, the Drug Enforcement Agency has been working closely with students on the importance of saying no to drugs. Nicole, just this week, the Drug Enforcement Administration has gone to 55 schools in South Texas trying to spread that message to students on the importance of not abusing drugs and raising awareness. Living a drug-free lifestyle is the mission behind National Red Ribbon Week. Say no to drugs! The movement started in 1985 after a drug enforcement agent was murdered by drug traffickers. In his honor, the community began to wear red ribbons once a year in October as a symbol of their commitment to raise awareness about the dangers of drug and alcohol use. Uh, counselors, you know, schedule different presentations. Uh, we like to do dress-up days, like today we are hiding from drugs. Um, and so we have different people coming in. Sergeant Trevino Elementary in Four is one of the 55 schools in South Texas, who hosted DEA agents to teach them about the importance of National Red Ribbon Week. And basically the message is don't do drugs because they will affect your life. You know, in the future you won't get far, you won't be able to be successful because they will interfere, you know, uh, immensely with, with anything that you want to do. DEA Assistant Special Agent Steve Jenkins says events like these have played a factor in the decline of drug use among teenagers. We recently spoke with somebody who was to, who uh, came to us and said, you know, when I was in high school or actually in grade school, uh, Red Ribbon Week is the reason why I never did drugs. Currently, one in 10 teenagers know somebody who smokes cigarettes among their peers. And while this week is all about educating youth on the dangers of drug use, the DEA spends every day trying to stop individuals who attempt to illegally distribute the drugs. We we're targeting drug trafficking organizations here in South Texas, a lot of the work we're doing is 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 uh, the the golf cartel moving um, large quantities of narcotics through South Texas. Uh, there's they they're very creative sometimes when they are when they're moving narcotics. Jenkins encourages parents to continue the message at home and know who their children are hanging around with. And at the end of those presentations, students receive one of these red ribbons, which is a pledge that says that they will live a drug-free lifestyle. Live outside the Farm McAllen newsroom, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight.